Hello there, physical media people. It's Philip Jeffries here for COVID and Cult Film once again. And today I'm talking imprint and cauldron and uh, hit that like, smash it. Smash, smash, smash. Anyway, uh, Bug picked this up with Ashley Judd, Michael Shannon, and Harry Connick Jr. And it's a William Friedkin film that I have not seen. Did you know that he directed The Exorcist? I had no idea. I had no idea. No, um, I, uh, this is also written by Tracy Letts, who wrote William Friedkin's Killer Joe, which I went to see the, on the opening Saturday, and it was a pretty packed theater, and that was an excellent film. And I've heard good things about this, and Tracy Letts also wrote August Osage County. He's a very good actor in his own right, and, um, I've heard wonderful things about this. I really like Ashley Judd. It is tragic how her career was sidelined by Harvey fucking Weinstein, um, and, um, for instance, she was going to be in the Lord of the Rings and, uh, Harvey who produced those films. Yes, he did. Uh, said that Ashley Judd is, uh, difficult to where that was the, that was the code for she, I sexually assaulted or tried to do things that were untoward. What a horrible, horrible man. I think we can all agree on that, but I am looking forward to bug, um, yeah, Ashley Judd. So, you know, um, I have uh, in my collection, she's in Heat uh, and um, in Imprint, also in Double Jeopardy. So this will be good to see. It was nice to see her come back in Twin Peaks, David Lynch. And that was before, remember, that was shot before the um, the Reckoning, the Me Too Reckoning. So David Lynch, obviously, and he never worked with Weinstein, so he must have known what was up. So, yeah, he hired her. He knew she wasn't fucking difficult. So, bug. Shout out to Ashley Judd. I'm sure she's watching this. All right. What else did we got here? Another imprint title. Night of the Eagle. Uh, I'm not going to say too much about this because I don't know too much about this. And uh, I just read very good reviews of it. And it's a British horror film. I like British horror. Uh, if you're looking for a really good British horror title, The Innocence is very good. So this is sort of one of my horror videos because these this are all really, you know, horror-esque films i suppose um yeah so happy october happy halloween night of the eagle imprint films Night number 261 all right now these took a long time to get here and that's but they're always worth it off balance or the phantom of death let's see what's the back there and they're great packages um, you know, I'm never sold by the slip. I'm not a slip whore. Like, uh, I don't go on uh, vinegar syndrome site or anything like that and go, Ooh, that's a nice slip cover. I'll buy that. It's generally shit, but I have to say with cauldron, they don't put out a lot and they, when they come, they're just, they're so beautiful and pristine. And it, they're always films I've never heard of for the most part, uh, except for city of the living dead, I think. And maybe, maybe a couple others, but I'd never heard of this one. So you got Michael York, Edward Fennick, and Donald Pleasance in it. And I watched this yesterday, and I loved it. And I don't want to say too much about it. Uh, but it's a, it's a, it's a Jalo-like film um, uh, about a man who is falling apart, literally. And um, ugh, I just, I, I really enjoyed it. I don't want to say too much. And you know, there's parts of it take place in Venice. It's just, it's very, very cool film. Really, really enjoyed that film. So I recommend it. I recommend you get these cauldron titles. Uh, top line. I watched this yesterday as well. And this uh, is with Franco Nero. There he is. And this is this is very fun. This is not like top tier stuff. George Kennedy is in it as well, but it's still very good. I haven't listened to uh, the commentary with Eric Zaldivar. Uh, I'm sure it's very good. He did a, a really great visual essay on uh, Shanghai Joe, also from Cauldron. And Franco Nero is so lovely with his time. He's just he's really great. He um, he's like all in the Cosa Nostra stuff. He's all over Arrow titles. He's, he's very very generous with his with his time. And uh, I enjoyed Top Line very much. I thought it was just wacky and out there. And I like this this slip. It's kind of like a Ghanaian bootleg. Uh, that's that's what I thought anyway. So, yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. 
And last, I have not watched this yet. The last match. Um, this has Henry Silva in it, Charles Napier, uh, God, um, Martin Balsam, I, I think a few others. And this is sort of like in the dying days of uh, the Italian exploitation era. And uh, it's kind of, I think this is more like an action film, but it's like an exploitation action film. And there's a special feature on here that I'm looking forward to very much, which is by Mike Malloy. And it's really about American actors in the dying days of this part of you know the, the italian film industry it's very hard for for them to get even even people like fellini i don't know if fellini was alive at this point but uh but apparently it even became very hard for like the top tier directors to get their films financed so you can imagine putting the money together for people like sergio martino or all those other people and so like cauldron have put out good stuff like american rickshaw for instance so there's a lot of films uh that uh Italians like Sergio Martino did like coming like when they when they would do films in America that have this very woozy kind of lost in translation feel uh, like American Rickshaw very much so and it's great I love American Rickshaw and uh, also another one like the like uh, the Hitcher in the Dark by Umberto Lenzi is also sort of like a lost in translation type of film you know um, very interesting stuff so I'm gonna watch this today and did I show the back that's the back of the slip. So, yeah, so I got some imprint and some cauldron stuff. And yeah, so um, that is that, as they say, except that I also got more. These are for my boyfriend, Graham, from Man V Film. These are coming to you, pal. So, uh, yeah, everyone. Have a great day. Watch some good films. And uh, yeah, I'm loving Cauldron and, and Imprint this year. And Fun City Editions. I watched the Primetime, Primetime Panic 2 and the Fatal Femmes uh, set. Nege really blew me away. So did The Bitch, but really great stuff. So uh, yeah, everyone, peace.